minutes in. We got two more rounds. All right. I guess today's a lesson learning time. Well, who knows what happens to your stomach when it's out and bloated? Why does that happen? Why does our stomach bloat like that? I'm gonna move around with here, liquid in there. That usually is a sign that your liver can handle the toxins you put in your body. That's why we need to do a detox. That's why we need to do a cleanse. Some people say, oh, cleanse is up, blah, 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 blah. No, they're really, 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 really important, right? So we need to help our liver. When we drink alcohol, we're only supposed to drink four to five drinks a week. That's what the liver can handle. If we drink more than five drinks a week, we need to help the liver. We need to flush the liver. How do we flush the liver? Take away sugar, drink to help it to drink like a detox tea. Um, like a cleanse now, a cleanse, we have a seven day cleanse that has glutamine in it, which is a cell repair for your intestines. We have magnesium in it, lemon, which helps with the detox, and uh, ginger, which is really important. So if you've never done a detox, please do yourself a favor and do one, but I think most of you guys here have. But just so you know what happens. So if you ever see your stomach being out and you can't, it's just moving around, that means you need to help your liver. Stop drinking for three days at least and help it to flush it out. I mean, if you can, do it for 30 days. That's the best. But if you can, at least do three days. All right. Now, if we do a lot of abs, will we see our abs? No. If we eat right, we will see our abs, right? So what we're doing right now is we're just toning the abs and we're building the washboard. But if we don't do good on our diet, you'll never see them. So you have to know your BMR. And I, I think I posted the BMR calculator. If I didn't, let me know. I'll check again. Your BMR will determine how much calories you burn as you are. And then you're adding how much activity you're doing. If you do a moderate activity or a very low activity, you need less calories, right? So my BMR, for instance, is 2,500 calories. I work out seven days a week. That gives me about an extra 600 calories a day that I need for activity so I can think and move and so on. So that really would give me 3,100 calories for me to burn to stay as I am. Now, if I want to lose weight, I have to burn, take some calories away. It takes 3,500 calories a week. That is about 600 calories a day to lose one pound of fat. It is safe to lose two pounds of fat without losing muscle a week. Otherwise, you're just gonna crash and your body will stop losing weight because the body only knows to survive. It doesn't know anything else. It doesn't know you're going to work. It doesn't know that you're working out. It just knows I have to do this activity to survive right now and use ex uh, uh, expand energy, right? So I'm going to take away 600 calories from my food and stay from my 2,500. I'm not gonna even worry about the 600 that I burn a day because I want to lose two pounds a week. That means I'm taking 600, that activity I'm doing, which is great, but I have to do it every day. And then I'm taking 600 calories away from my food. So my intake every day is 1,900 calories. If I eat lower than 1,900 calories, I, met, I might mess with my metabolism too much and it actually will do the opposite. It will shut down, it will not burn as much calories because it thinks it's gonna die, right? It's not getting enough calories, so we'll hold on to it. So knowing your BMR is super important. I know some people say you don't need to count calories. If you have a specific goal, you need to count calories, period. It's all math, your body is math. So if you want more details, let me, uh, let, leave me a message in the group. Always work out and eat at the same time. Your body releases hormones. Especially when you're going through menopause, it's really important that you stay on the schedule. Your body loves the schedule. All right, one more advice. While you're recovering, have your water. Why are we doing cardio first thing in the morning? Why is it better to do cardio workouts first thing in the morning? 
because your body goes through a detox state at night, right? So it's repairing, it's flushing, and it's called, it's it really, it's like a fasting. That's why the intermittent fasting is so popular. It's been around forever. They just gave it a new name. So when we eat workout first thing in the morning, we are already in fat burn mode, right? We don't need to um, burn anything off because your body goes into fat burn. When we eat during the day and we work out in the afternoon, it takes 20 minutes for your body to go into fat burn mode because it has to burn off all that energy you ate. So that's why it's best if you have, have a choice, if you have to work out in the afternoon, lift weights first because you want to tone and build muscle. And then after 20 minutes, your body is in fat burn mode and then do your cardio. But if you have the, the privilege of working out first thing in the morning and you want to lose weight and you want to tone up, I always say first thing in the morning is the best. And always work out when you feel your best. I feel the best first thing in the morning. Some people don't, but um, just a little advice.